everyone, welcome to number 39 of Travels Around My Bedroom. And today we are going to the United States of America. So I went to the States for the first time 20 years ago and it was just before Christmas. I was a travel agent um, at the time and I had um, won some really, really super cheap tickets, a return ticket, two return tickets to go to New York. So um, I booked them to uh, to go there, uh, well, as I said, just before Christmas, because I had this idea of Christmas in New York being really, really magical. And, you know, you see all these movies and... Um, and you want to be part of uh, of that experience. So we just we just went for a weekend. We left, I think, on a Friday evening from London, and came back on the Monday morning. Um, so I was pretty tired when I when I came back. But I so I had I had always imagined the states being this massive, you know, big thing, based on the size of the feet of the Harlem Grop Trotters. Now, when I was 18, my dad offered us some tickets to see, to see them play. And I was in total awe of them. I am still in total awe of them. I don't know if you've seen The Last Dance uh, on Netflix, but this, uh, this series is absolutely and utterly amazing. I've been kind of like hooked on the edge of my seat all the time. But I remember waiting uh waiting for the venue to open and i was um i was sitting down on the uh on the pavement actually reading my book and the bus comes in and and i just i didn't realize that the bus has just ar- had just arrived with all the players i was there really really early and i saw these feet like sorry i've got to go here like these humongous feet and I'm a I'm I'm a three I'm a Cinderella uh, uh, size, and I had never in my entire life seen feet that big. I didn't even know that could be possible. So I wasn't disappointed when I when I when I arrived. And I've always been you know I come from a small rural uh, town, seven thousand inhabitants. So to arrive in New York was just completely mind blowing. We have this song which is called uh, New York USA in French and it says I've seen ni- I, um I've I have seen New York New York USA. Um uh I have never seen something that tall. Oh it's tall. Oh it's tall. And it's ve- it's on the drums like j'ai vu New York New York USA. J'ai vu New York, New York, USA. J'ai jamais rien vu d'eau. J'ai jamais, j'ai jamais rien vu d'aussi haut. Oh, c'est haut, New York, New York, USA. And it's got the drums, you know, and past that building. Oh, c'est haut, how it's tall. How tall it is. And it's every building and you have the drums and the drums and you feel like you're in the jungle. And, um, and that is exactly how it felt for me when I arrived. It was, it was completely, completely, completely crazy, over, overwhelming. And the, the people were so tall and so big. It was just like everything is completely and utterly blown out of proportion. And, uh, and it was just amazing. One of the things that I will remember the most was the houses. Because they looked exactly like in the movies. And I think probably for me, it really reminded me of a West Side Story. And, uh, and I love the, the staircase, the, the, the staircase in front of the buildings, but I love the, the metal, the metal or the iron staircases on the side, you know, that they, that you can, that, that are the fire exits. And again, that is just so for me associated to, uh, uh, to New York. So it was amazing to see it, uh, to see it for real. Um, and, um, we went, of course, we went to see, uh, the Statue of Liberty. And you know what? 
What's really interesting, so I I was in my late twenties. I I cannot I cannot remember anything to do with the Statue of Liberty per se. I remember going on the ferry, uh, uh, being on the journey, but the statue itself, I, I don't have any really tangible memories of it. The memories that I have are uh, of the Immigration Museum, Museum on Ellis Island. And that really, that really shocked me. It was... Um, it was so um so powerful to read the stories and to see the pictures and to know that now you know almost half of the population of the states is made of these migrants that arrived from all over the world and went through Ellis Island I think it's mind it's mind blowing um and and to know that 12 million people 12 million immigrants went through this this golden, this golden door. Um, it, it's, it, it just really, again, you, you start looking at history and, and you know, that, that gratitude that you have about, oh my God, I am so lucky that I wasn't born at a time. I, I didn't have to escape wars. And, um, and actually, um, saying that I'm so lucky that I was born where I am born because there are thousands of people hundreds of thousands of people that are escaping wars um, now. Um, so this, this, this really uh, was very interesting. And then on a completely, you know, different level, um, the, the being in New York when it was really, really cold, ah, it was cold, going to, to shops like uh, Macy's, just amazing. Um, so at, at, for that Christmas, that's the present that I got. Um, and that's actually how my, my love for scarves started. This was the first ever, I think it was probably my most beautiful, the most beautiful thing that I owned at the time. And it's my ex-partner who uh, bought it for, uh, for me at Macy's. And I just could not believe that I owned something from Macy's. Um, we did go in front of Tiffany, but that's really far too expensive. Um, so that was also, that was also, you know, mythical. This is what happens when you're like European and you go to New York for the first time. You, you see this thing that you've seen in movies and the, the myth become reality. You know, the, 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 the cabs, the New York cabs become reality. Um, and, uh, and it's great to have seen something that you've grown up seeing in the movies and suddenly it's tangible. You can touch it and you can speak to people. And I remember, um, going and buying a slice of pizza. Um, all of this stuff was, was so new and was so different. Um, but yeah, sorry, I'm going back. I'm going back to this because I, it's just such a beautiful, a beautiful piece. Um, and it's, and the softness, the softness of it. So, I'm just going to um uh, to to put it on um but when you know it's uh, it, it was just um such a, a a beautiful thing to do um to buy a beautiful thing and you know and I you know that I'm uh, that I'm very much into uh, into that so the one of the things that I that I also went to visit of course was the twin towers because they were still they were still there and then to to go and to um to have the view also was mind blowing you get that sense of everything being so tall um which you don't you don't get that you don't get that in in europe you just you just don't get that in in europe so um i'm actually going to do another uh, another bit on the states because i went to the states twice i i i'm actually i'm not very that much familiar with with the states um and it's already it's already nine and a half minutes but um what i would love uh, what i would love to know is what is the what is the museum that you've been to that's really given you a sense of place, I would say, and a sense of um, place, place right now. Yes. 
um, and and um, and you know stories that you might have learned that just made you feel how grateful you are or how lucky you are. So I'd love to I'd love to know that, and I'll see you tomorrow uh, for another um, another installment of uh, of another trip to the states. Thank you. Bye bye.